A hydraulic jump is a sudden transition from a high velocity free surface flow into a slower flywheel motion. It is characterized by very strong turbulence and entrainment on energy dissipation. With a photograph illustrating a hydraulic jump with a flow direction from the left to the right. The hydraulic jump is a simple, inefficient form of kinetic energy dissipation at the toe of wheel on dam spillways. This is often implemented, as illustrated below, to prevent scour downstream on below the dam toe. The sketch illustrates a hydraulic jump energy dissipator at the toe of a small dam with the introduction of a few key definitions. The design of hydraulic jump stealing basins, located at spillway toe, must ensure a safe dissipation of the kinetic energy of the flow, maximize the rate of energy dissipation, and minimize the size and cost of the stealing structure. Energy dissipation in a hydraulic jump stealing basin may be assisted with elements, such as buffers, placed on the stealing basin apron. Several standardized design of stealing basins were developed in the 1950s and 1960s. These basins were extensively tested over a considerable range of flow conditions. The prototype performance are reasonably well known, and they can usually be selected and designed without further model studies. One standardized stealing structure is a hydraulic jam stealing basin USBR Tap 2. The Type 2 stealing basin was developed and is used for relatively large structures, an inflow fraud number greater than 4.5. The hydraulic jump stealing basin, USBR Type 2, consists of a horizontal apron equipped with a row of chute blocks at the upstream end on a dentated seal row near the downstream end. No baffle piers are used in basin 2 because of the relatively high velocities entering the jump. The stealing basin type 2 was designed and tested successfully for a range of inflow conditions, namely an inflow fraud number greater than 4.5, a unit discharge less than 4.6, less than 46 square meters per second, on an upstream head less than 61 meters. No effect of the shoot slope was observed for slopes from 31 degrees to 63 degrees. However, for shoot slope greater than 45 degrees, an invert curve of radius greater than four times in flow depth is advised immediately upstream of the apron. For larger unit discharges or larger upstream head, physical modeling must be conducted. Like most hydraulic jump stealing basin. The type 2 basin must operate within a very specific range of tailwater conditions, typically with a tailwater depth equal to 1.05 times the conjugate depth for optimum operation. Here, the tailwater depth is measured downstream of the stealing basin in the natural channel, and the conjugate depth is the one that fulfills the Bélanger equation. Importantly, the hydraulic jump stealing basin must operate with a tailwater depth greater than the conjugate depth to ensure that the jump does not shift downstream of the apron. The designer stated very clearly, the type 2 basin should never be designed for tailwater depth less than the conjugate depth. The length of the basin will typically be 4.4 times the conjugate depth Information on the block height, width and spacing are shown here, as well as the dentated steel height on block width and spacing. The USBR Type 2 stealing basin was developed and is used for relatively large structures. Since the requirement of the US Bureau of Reclamation for its dissipator are more stringent than many other organizations, the Type 2 basin design is conservative. For small structure, the Type 3 or the SAF stealing basin design may be preferred. Finally, the design engineers must ensure 
that the hydraulic jump sealing basin can operate safely for a wide range of flow conditions. Damage to the basin and to the downstream natural bed may occur for a number of reasons, listed here. The design of hydraulic jump energy dissipator on the stealing basin type 2 constitute a basic application of the equation of conservation of momentum and conservation of energy in open channels, directly relevant to the design of energy dissipators for hydraulic structures, small dams and weirs. Death are further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.